So thinking about having an audience in here again, what do you want them to take away or what do you want them to know coming back into this show? Well, the really interesting thing about Little Shop of Horrors is in its original form, it kind of revitalized off-off-Broadway and legitimized off-Broadway productions. So coming in with the understanding that this originated as an off-Broadway production um, that also satirizes musical comedy itself as well as B uh, movie horrors is something that the audience should probably have in their mind to understand the complexity of the character types um, when it comes to playing those comedic numbers. Um, but what is really special I think for us is finding in this show the moments of heart and genuine connection that is often masked and hidden underneath the satire that everyone leans into with this show. Most people, especially nowadays, know the show based off of the movie. They've seen the movie and they love everything that the movie does and what the characters, how the characters are portrayed in the movie. Um, but I really wanted to pull away from that familiar aspect of what the movie does and this is our own spin and take on the show. And so, if you want to find out what I mean by that, <laughs> best thing I can say is come see the show. Um, but there's a lot of aspects like that where I just think that ours is a special to not only the off-Broadway original design of the show, but just our Las Vegas production. It's hard to believe that it's been, what, three and a half years? kind of since we did Legally Blonde, um, but coming back into the room together for auditions, um, the first time around, callbacks the second time around, uh, and then rehearsing the show now, it's, it's like we never left.